welcome back to Divine Japan, your unique window into the mystical history of Japan. If you're joining us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to journey with us into the past of this fascinating culture. I'm your guide, and today, we'll uncover another riveting chapter of Japan's mythological past. But before we dive in, let's briefly recap. The Kajiki for those who are new to our series. The Kajiki, meaning records of ancient matters, is the oldest chronicle in Japan. Dating back to the early 8th century, this ancient text weaves together the myths, legends, and historical accounts of Japan. It takes us from the very genesis of the world, through the age of gods and goddesses, to the era of human emperors. This marvelous tapestry of tales is the cornerstone of Japanese mythology, Shinto beliefs, and cultural identity. And now, our journey takes us to the very roots of the Japanese imperial line. Let's unravel the life and legacy of the legendary first emperor of Japan, in Jinmu, the dawn of Japan and the king of mice. Stay tuned. This is a tale you don't want to miss. Today, we embark on a journey to the dawn of the Japanese imperial lineage into the legendary life of Emperor Junmu. These are tales woven from the threads of history, myth, and spirituality, intertwining to form a rich, complex narrative of a time when gods and mortals shared the earth. Emperor Junmu, known in the Kojiki as Kami Yamato Eirbaiko, occupies a distinct position in Japanese history. He is a divine ruler, a legendary figure, believed to be the direct descendant of Amaterasu, the sun goddess. His lineage traced through the celestial grandsons of Amaterasu, Ninijun no Mikoto, lays the groundwork for his extraordinary journey and the founding of what is believed to be the world's longest-running hereditary monarchy. Emperor Jinnu's birth in Hyoga, on the island of Kyushu, was an event shrouded in celestial omens and divine favor. Born as the elder of two sons, both were marked for greatness from their earliest days. The chronicles of Jinnu's life and rule are brimming with trials and triumphs, heroic exploits, and unyielding resolve. As a young man, Jinmu was graced with a prophetic dream. A divine figure appeared, instructing him to journey eastward, where he was promised a land of abundant reed-covered plains. Fired by this divine directive, he and his younger brother embarked on an epic expedition. Eastward, guided by the promise of fertile lands rich with possibilities, but the journey was anything but easy. Jinmu and his people faced countless challenges along their path. The rough terrains they had to traverse, the confrontations with local chieftains, who opposed their advance, and the internal disputes among their ranks. Through all these trials, Jinmu's divine lineage and his indomitable will stood as his shield and sword helping him overcome these challenges, garner followers, and consolidate his power. Against all odds, Jinnu's mythic journey led him to the area we now know as Yamato. Here, in this land of verdant plains and majestic mountains, Jinnu's divine destiny began to unfold in earnest. In a defining moment of his journey, Jinnu came upon a divine creature a Yakagarazu, or a three-legged crow, which is said to have guided him through the daunting mountains. This event bears special significance, as the Yakagarazu is revered as a messenger of the sun goddess Amaterasu herself. This encounter further solidified Jinmu's divine status and his connection with the celestial world. Jinmu, with his bravery, his resilient spirit and the guidance of divine forces succeeded in establishing his rule over the bountiful lands of Yamatut. 
His coronation was marked by celestial signs and divine approval, boosting his stature not merely as a mortal emperor, but also as a divine entity in his own right. His rule signaled the commencement of the Yamato dynasty, a lineage unbroken to this very day. The reign of Emperor Junmu, as depicted in the Kojiki, was a time of peace, prosperity, and harmonious coexistence between humans and the divine. It is said that he ruled for over 70 years, and his legacy has echoed down through the centuries. Today, he remains a symbol of Japan's rich mythological heritage, a testament to the nation's unique melding of history, culture, and spirituality. But the tale of Emperor Junyu is not merely about a mythical ruler. It serves as a powerful allegory embodying core Japanese values of perseverance, harmony, and respect for the divine. His story, passed down through generations, continues to inspire and shape the Japanese ethos even today. As we bring the saga of Emperor Jinmu to a close, we understand the importance of these legendary tales in shaping Japan's cultural and spiritual identity. The journey of Jinmu is a testament to enduring values, perseverance, harmony, and reverence for the divine. Virtues that continue to permeate Japanese society today are historical narratives filled with myth and spirituality, aren't just chronicles of the past, but living legacies influencing our present and shaping our future. Thank you for joining me on this expedition into Japan's mythic past. If you found Emperor Jinmu's journey intriguing, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Divine Japan for more explorations into Japan's rich history and mythology. Stay curious, stay excited, and continue your journey of discovery.